we are going for a AZ500 certification. Now, this AZ500 is uh, when you go for uh, detailed information, you will see that it is Azure security. Okay, and uh, there is no such a requirement that you need to complete a certification to clear. L unlike there are some certifications like AZ305, uh, which is uh, you can say Azure expert. Uh, level certification this is known as azure solution architect now when you need to go for this exam there is a prerequisite that you must have an associate certification with you so there are a lot of associate certification available in the market some of the associate certifications which are available are like uh, we have administrator associate which is az104 now if you go for az104 okay that's a associate level certification that you have so uh, AZ500 is expert level certification. So we'll see what all are the topics being covered in AZ500. So let's see from here. Now this is a page which is a one-stop location for all the information related to AZ500. Okay. So here you will see what are the study guidelines, everything related to the AZ500 platform. Now here you can see this is Microsoft Azure Security Engineer Associate. So uh, what is Azure Security Engineer Associate? So this is a Microsoft certification which tests you on how good you are to implement security controls, maintain organization security posture and identify and remediate security vulnerabilities. This is an intermediate level certification and after completing the certification, you can go for a role of a security engineer. Now, there is a renewal frequency of 12 months. What is the renewal frequency about? The renewal frequency is that after one year, this certification will expire. So once, for example, today you have given the certification, and you cleared it so after six months you will start getting mails from microsoft to renew the certification every, uh, from the six months to the 12 month so you just have to take a 45 minutes test for the renewal part and those 45 minute test is a simple exam it is not a proctored one and you can easily pass that exam and recertify yourself even after your certification has expired after a window of 12 months. Now here are some tips on how to prepare for the exam. You can go through these links. So how am I redirected to this uh, page? So you just have to open a new tab and in the Google search we will type as AZ500. So we are redirected to a page of Microsoft documentation, which is about security engineer associate examination. Now, if you go through these links, this will help you on an idea on how to prepare for the exam and what environment is there for the exam. So it will also give you insight. So when you get started with the exam, what type of uh, environment or system setups you require in your laptop. Now coming to security engineer associate, this is more of how you can monitor the resources. So if you go for other certification, there we like AZ104, there we study about the uh, resources. But when we talk about uh, security, so there are a lot of services, but how can we strengthen the security posture of those services is what we see here. So we have identity and access, data, applications and network. So you must uh, be protecting or securing from this point of view. And what will be the role of you that you take up as a security engineer? So you can easily monitor the security posture, identify vulnerabilities, perform threat modeling, implement threat protection and all of these things. Now let's first, before we go through the learning path, let's first explore what is the study guide study guide is basically a syllabus provided from microsoft for all of us so let's see what is the study guide of az500 so as you see that there are recent changes made in this platform the recent change was on 30th of april to 2024 
now here we go at a glance now this is the distribution of the questions which will be asked in the examination like identity and access will cover 25 to 30 percentage of your certification questions securing network will contain approximately 20 to 25 percent weightage in the exam compute storage and databases security will cover 20 to 25 percentage again and managing security operations has 20 to 25 to 30 percentage now if we go with the deep dive overview when it comes to the first part of 25 to 30 percent contrib contribution of identity and access which is very important actually so we have entra concepts microsoft entra earlier microsoft identity platform was known as azure active directory now it has been renamed as microsoft entra so earlier why there was a requirement to rename the question is the answer to this is that azure active directory had many additional concepts and for you to not get confused with uh, additional features like pim is there conditional access is there we unified this family with a single name of microsoft entra now when we start with identity we will be studying microsoft entra which is nothing but azure active directory where we are going to see entra concepts like user groups external identities and so on then we are going to see how we can perform authentication what is single sign on what is mfa and then authorization there are two things related to microsoft entra one is authentication that means verifying the user and the second is authorization that means what permissions or roles do that person hold for example you i create you join my company so i create a user id and password for you but still if i create a user id and password i need to give you some permissions and roles to execute those permissions and roles are authorization so we will see how we can do authorization using roles uh, distribution also if we have a dedicated application with us how can we ensure that we have application access provided okay then coming to the networking what are the topics that we are going to cover in networking which has 20 to 25 percent weightage so we are going to see uh, what is network security group what are virtual networks okay the, the basic points first we are going to see inter-site connectivity as well and then we are going to see uh, what is private endpoints private link uh, how we can secure app services and so on and how we can provide public access to the azure resources using front door cdns waf etc in the compute and storage part we are going to see how we can plan and implement remote access aks basically azure kubernetes services how we are going to secure that then we are going to see the storage security so there is a service for you to store your data in azure which is known as azure storage account so how can you make sure that your data in the storage account is secured so we are going to see certain aspects of that and also we are going to explore sql db and sql managed instance which is a very important part in your certification because the weightage of the questions coming from this part is high okay then we have security operations 25 to 30 percent where we are going to see key vault uh, security blueprints landing zones backup recovery uh, of the certificates we are going to explore microsoft defender right and monitoring which is a service for monitoring your services and it is known as azure monitor in the portal so this is a detailed understanding of uh, the study guide i will give you all the links don't worry on that part uh, so let's revisit the link so that was about when you get redirected to the study guide section now we are going to see that there are a lot of preparation videos and demos you can take the help of them and this is a uh, very important platform for learning purpose provided by microsoft which is microsoft uh, ms learn so what is microsoft learn platform it gives you the details of all the topics where you can just click on the topic and go through all the instructions 
mentioned here like for example you don't know entra so just read the topics from here and once you are done you can move to the next topic one by one okay so the next topic is about users so what are the users the detailed understanding of each of the topics of az500 you will get it from here it's a documentation you can say which is a summary of your az500 examination uh, all the topics which are going to be asked in your exam are mentioned here in detail step by step okay and we go scroll down and then we have identities so you just go through the identity concept Uh, how to implement identity protection and towards the end this is what i wanted to show you there is a knowledge check section what is the knowledge check about the knowledge check is some few questions on the topics you have just covered so just answer these questions and you will get some xp points from microsoft this is 200 xp points that we get if you have logged in in this platform okay so you can also create a login in microsoft certification and uh, training and certification platform now coming to the az500 we'll open a new tab so as we discussed this is a one stop hub and you have to now explore how to book the exam so booking the exam is quite easy you can just go on to the same page and book the exam so we will rather than going to this we'll just write exam booking here so take the exam schedule exam is there click on schedule exam this is uh, according to the country that you are from the prize will be shown to you and you will be signed into a certificate so let's get started with microsoft azure security so what is azure security engineers so uh, security engineers help you to implement security controls uh, maintain the organization security posture manage identity and access identify and protect data application and networks so uh, you can is when once you are a security engineer what is expected out of you that you can easily identify and remediate vulnerabilities by using a variety of security tools which are provided in microsoft portal uh since you must be working on the as, as, uh, security part there are a lot of uh, applications and softwares already in the market to enhance the security right for example it can be uh, protection against threats like malware attacks or some ddos attack protection plans you have taken so lot of applications are already there in the market here we are going to leverage the applications which are provided by microsoft azure for services which are already there on the azure platform so as a security engineer you will be working as a larger team dedicated to cloud based management and you are familiar with scripting and automation and have a deep understanding on networking and virtualization so these are the prerequisites that you understand the security best practices and industry requirements such as ddos defense in depth least privileges role based access control multi factor authentication shared responsibility and zero trust model so once we get started with this course we will be going ahead with the best practices how we can enhance the security pro protocols and how we have we can deploy the azure workloads and understand may be dependent on the different types of workload either windows or linux we have different security enhancements that we can do in our environment so as we have already seen the weightage so identity and uh, access platform security and data applications weightage is mentioned here 
and you can uh, certifications gives you a professional edge by globally recognizing uh, in the industry and getting you you have a mastery in that skill so uh, there is a suggested path for you that you can complete 900 and then you can go for security associate once you have completed this associate certification you can go for some expert certification as well which is az305 so now we are here is it 500 so since in this uh, ppt it is already mentioned that you have to complete as a 900 but it is optional we must remember that this is optional people usually choose the path that they complete 900 first and then they go for 500 but if you don't have an idea of as a 900 that is okay we are going to have a deep uh, dive into the basic concepts as well so no need of worrying on that part and you can easily go for the certification examination once you are prepared so this is the web, uh, web link so you can just type on this web link and copy the web link and you can open a new tab and the same hub link where i was explaining all the concepts of az500 will come up thank you everyone like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and keep learning